Budget fam. Happy Monday. I hope that you guys are doing amazing. We are here for, you guessed it, a cash unstuffing. If you are new around here, welcome. My name is Jordan. We love doing cash stuffings on this channel. We almost equally, if not more, love unstuffing the money, which I do way too often. But that is beside the point. If you are interested in cash budgeting, we do a lot of that on this channel. I am also a single mom that makes all of my income off of Etsy and YouTube. I sometimes share my life and what's going on. So there's a lot going on around here and we would love to have you as a part of our budget fam. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for joining me on this channel. Thank you for continuing to support my journey. I appreciate you so, so much. So let's jump right into today's video, which is going to be pretty straightforward. We're gonna take out pretty much all of the cash in these binders and we are going to count it today. We're gonna to talk about why I'm taking it out, but let's just jump right into it because I feel like that's the best way to approach this. So we're gonna start with our bills, if I can find those, and then we're gonna talk about doing away with the bill binder, guys. I know, I know, I've had the bill binder for so long, and if, truth be told, if history has told us anything, like, the bill binder will be coming back, right? Like, I tend to do away with it for a few months and then I miss it, but I am at a point right now where I think I just want to simplify and take away the bill binder. And we're gonna count this money in just a second. But what we're going to be doing instead of the bill binder is we are going to put this one month ahead tracker in just one of our binders because our bills right now total about $2,000. If you include the teacher that I pay to come teach the boys, y'all know I've been struggling on if I keep her or if I don't. I feel like if I just put her down as a bill, include it in this $2,000 that I need for my bills every month, then maybe I'll feel differently about it. We'll see. It's kind of a lot of money just to throw at a teacher. But anyway, we're going to do away with the bills binder. We're going to do away with all these categories because at this point, I pretty much pay everything right at the start of the month anyway. We're going to save all through November because all of this cash is about to pay November's bills. So all of November, we will save to pay January's bills on the 1st of January. My bills are about $2,000. So if we have $2,000 stuffed in that one envelope, it's going to be the equivalent of doing all of this, right? So another thing too, I'm taking haircuts money out. We've been saving that money for a while. I'm also taking out sick days because I was just short on bills this month for whatever reason. I just was not on top of things. So we're gonna take these categories out because these do need to go somewhere else. And the kids and I do need to get haircuts, but I don't know, for any, anyway, for right now, we're gonna take that out. The rest of this, we're just doing away with for now. Again, I'm sure it's coming back, but this is money that we're going to go ahead and put in the bank. And I was going to do a cash stuffing for YouTube to catch us up on bills, but I think we will go ahead and put all of this in the bank and just include it with that YouTube check. And then, um, there was a little bit of money that I put on the credit card because my silhouette broke. So I had to buy another one. I'm still hopeful. I'm going to be able to get another, like get the first one fixed, so then I'll have two of them. But point is, my, I was behind on the bills binder this month and I had that unexpected $300 expense of a new silhouette. So all of my YouTube check plus this should catch us back up. It should cover that silhouette cost and it should cover all of our bills, even though this is not going to be $2,000. But let's go ahead and count it, see how close we were, because why not? It will be fun. And then we're gonna talk about our sinking funds and savings challenges that we are also mostly unstuffing. We'll talk about it. Okay, bills though, let's go ahead and start there. Bills, we have 50, 150, 250. Oh Lord have mercy, I don't know. <laughs> Let me count that again. 50, 100, 50, 200, 50, 300, 50, 400, 50, 500, 50, 600. One, two, three, four, five. I can do this. I can count. I can do it. <laughs> 500, 600, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 500, 6, 7, 8, 9, 900, and 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So five, 
six, seven, eight, nine hundred and thirty dollars is going towards our bills for this month. And that is going to get stuffed into the bank, which I feel good about. We're going to go ahead and be able to pay the bills. Now, moving on to what is left over. All of this is our weekly binder or our weekly money. I think I'm going to go ahead and put our monthly category here. We might redo stickers soon to make sure that everything matches but for now this is our new bills envelope we just have the one envelope and once we have two thousand dollars in here and we need to get two thousand dollars in here like every single month so we'll see how i like that i might end up with this next launch that's about to happen i might make a bills instead of it saying one month ahead we will do like just bills and it be in different increments let me know what you guys think of that so groceries i did go here and write, I don't know if you can see on the cards, but while I was thinking about how I would like to reorganize things, I went ahead and wrote what my intended goal is for every single week. So groceries, my intention is to spend $500 in groceries. Here's the thought of how I would like to start doing this. I am going to be stuffing money into these categories, but I would like to eventually, just like the one month ahead for all of November, we are working towards December bills. I would like to eventually like have groceries filled with $500 by the start of December. Not only are we kind of one month ahead, if you will, on bills because we're putting all of our money in in November for December, I would like to basically putting all of my grocery money aside in November for December, same kind of thing. So while this is variable and weekly spending money. The idea is that in this binder, I will start saving the money instead of just pulling it and pulling out what is needed for that week. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. So the intention is to have about $100 in gas by December, to have dining out for fast food, have about $100 for fast food for December, and then entertainment. Another thing that I'm gonna start doing different, which I may start creating trackers a little bit different to accommodate how I wanna start doing this. In November, we're gonna have two camping trips. There is a trampoline park trip for the boys. Jericho needs a new jacket. I just bought Atlas's, and then there's Thanksgiving. So I have already like pre-written out the entertainment expenses that I think are going to happen. So I've written the category here, and my intention is whenever I I want to pull from entertainment. I've already put intention and thought into what our entertainment money is going towards for this coming month. So if I look at, if I say, oh, I want to take the boys to the movies and it's not something that I've written here, it hasn't been an intentionally planned out thing, then we can't pull the money from it. I'm trying to, I'm just trying to get a little bit more intentional. Personal money for November, I have allotted myself no money for November. Same for miscellaneous. The boys still have allowance money in here and the boys still need care haircuts. They are starting to look like boy band members in the 90s with really long swoopy hair. So they do need haircuts very badly. And then sick days, just something to keep on our radar. Again, I'm probably going to rearrange this a little bit more like color coordinated. We're just trying to flesh out the idea with you guys as I'm working through it. Now, let's move over to our sinking funds and our savings challenges. I am going to be honest with you guys. I love having a bunch of categories, but every once in a while, when it's been a little while since I've counted it, it starts to just feel like money that is out of control because I have no idea what's honestly in here. My biggest goal right now is by the end of the year, I want this to be filled out. I want to have $5,000 set aside for a house down payment or a car down payment because my intention is this next year getting whichever one of those I can get. Whatever I can have, I want it. I really just want to go through these categories right now and pick out the ones that are not extremely important pressing needs because I want to put the money into this envelope, right? I'm thinking through this as I make this video too. So give me just a second. Like we're definitely going to keep a hundred envelope. We're going to keep Christmas. I will do away with AAA pool. We will do away with medical emergency savings we're gonna do away with that I'm so sorry guys don't hate me we are doing away with a lot of this just because yes oh man retirement makes me nervous to get rid of it because I hear you guys I do hear you I need to think about my retirement but I also feel like I need to think about owning a house that is for sure going away I think we will keep summer camps we'll see how I feel about it because that is just gonna be so expensive but I think some of these categories like back to school 
the ones that are not as big of an expense, I feel like we could just start them with the new year because we'll still have time. We will still have time for some of those. New clothes, I do wanna tell you guys though, because there's hardly any money left in here. There is some money left for me to get clothes, but I think we'll put it in the pile as well. I spent $240 on clothes for myself very recently. I went on a shopping spree. So thank you to everybody that tipped and got me that new clothes money. Some of this is going over to the 100 envelope savings challenge, but you guys got me about four or five new outfits. I went when Kohl's was doing their Kohl's cash. So I ended up spending 240. I got $40 then in Kohl's cash. And so I was able to get a little bit more. So I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for putting me in your budget. Thank you for tipping me over an Etsy. That is where that money went. We are doing away with all of these stocking up things, books. Guys, we're about to pull all of this. So car insurance, I think how we will refocus on these pretty soon, not in this video, but in an upcoming video, we will be putting savings challenges that are for just the current and upcoming quarter. So right now y'all know I had like a yearly binder. I had a long-term binder, but I think just for my peace of mind, we really need to focus on doing another 100 envelope savings challenge or completing this one first and then doing another one. Um, and just maybe six categories that are current or upcoming or just like the really big things, you know? So anyway, exciting. We're about to pull all of this money and count it. There is some money in the bank. That's what these placeholders are for. So 100 envelope, we're pulling it because we're about to pull all of that money together. And I'm hoping we hit somewhere close to $5,000. Let's see. Christmas, Christmas and summer camps. Pretty much the only thing that's getting left. My fourth bundle is about to launch with 24 new savings challenges. And I can already tell you all I'm going to be pulling some of those new savings challenges. So there will be more in this binder pretty soon. That will be sort of a part two to this video. Let's pull all of this money. How are you guys doing on this beautiful Monday? The weather is back to not cold here, but it is still nice. Like it is beautiful weather and I am thoroughly enjoying it. We have been having so much outside time lately, me and the boys. And <laughs> I, I always kind of rant about like, it's hard to do schoolwork because we're just enjoying outside so much. The boys still do plenty of schoolwork. So if you're worried about their schooling, <laughs> they're doing great. They do have the tutor. They have my mom and I still, I mostly focus on spelling and handwriting at this point. That's two of their most dreaded topics, if you will. So that's what I'm doing. And also a lot of outside time. I am so excited. I have no idea what we're up to. I hate to pull out of all of these categories that we've been saving for. And if you are somebody who watches these and you're like, oh my God, you, what was even the point? Because you pulled from all the categories. The point is guys that at the time, emergency savings made me feel motivated. Well, now all of these categories don't make me feel motivated. And I feel like I just really want to buckle down on the most important category, which is a house down payment. And so that's what we're going to do. That's if it makes me feel motivated and I saved all of this money in the process, like it's a win, right? Like that is, it's a win to me. So also I will watch these kinds of videos and people will be pulling their money because say their car broke down or something happened. That's money you did not have to put on a credit card. You had that money saved. So good job. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. So I'm going to organize this really quick and then I will come back and chat with you guys. We have everything organized out by denominations. I'm excited. Just a reminder that all of this is placeholder and fake money. I only carry 50s and below in real cash in the house. If it is more than that, it is in one savings account in at my local bank. It helps me not spend that money just to have it lumped together in one savings account. But this sort of helps me keep track of where the money goes category wise. Now, of course, we're throwing all this money together because I am excited to just focus on, to focus just on the house down payment. If you are somebody who reorganizes your categories and it doesn't necessarily end up going towards what you had budgeted for, let me know in the comments. I know I'm not the only one that does this, but let's go ahead and count first what is in the savings account and then we will count what is 
here in cash that we're about to move over to the bank. One, two thousand, five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred, eight, nine, three thousand, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 3,800 already in the savings account. All right, and then starting with the 50s, 50, 100, 50, 200, 50, 300, 50, 400, 50, 500, 50, 600, 50, 700, 50, 800, 50, 900, 950. Okay, y'all know I count kind of special. Okay, let me do, we have 3,800 in the bank and then 950 in 50s. I'm just gonna have to add all that together in a second because I will be whew, so lost. 2, 4, 6, 8, 100, 20, 40, 60, 8, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 340, 340 in 20s, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 300 exactly for tens. For fives, we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 105, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 155, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68. 70, 200, that's 201, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 210 in ones and fives, 600, 5,600 guys, we completed it, we did it, so 5,600, that, I want to say the envelope challenge is $5,050. We are gonna go ahead and put all of this in the bank because I want to go ahead and restart another 100 envelope savings challenge. And all of this is going to be in the savings account so I won't be tempted to spend it in any like frivolous spending kind of way, right? Ooh, look at that, that is exciting. Guys, thank you so much for being on this budget journey with me. I know that I do not always follow the normal course of action. I hope that you guys don't mind that I'm unstuffing all these categories. It is just what I needed to stay motivated. It is something that I would do if I was not filming and I feel like just because I am filming and sharing the journey with you guys doesn't mean that I should necessarily stop doing what works for me. This is what works for me. This makes me feel really motivated. I have all of this cash or I will and just a minute I'll have all of this cash out of the house and I'll know that I have the start of a house down payment which absolutely feels amazing I'm excited to restart this binder with you guys soon we will talk about what categories I am going to put in here and we will restart another 100 envelope savings challenge to start saving more for a bigger house down payment if you can't tell I am genuinely excited and so happy that I'm gonna be able to put this in the bank right now I'm gonna go do that right now. Thank you so much for being a part of this journey with me. You are amazing, I love you and I appreciate you and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.